Now let's take a good look of the interface in Flash. Now the main working area in Flash CS5 is called the stage, which is right here. This is where you can move, select, and pretty much modify the objects you want in your final Flash video. Directly below that is your timeline, and in that timeline you have a list of layers, or in this particular case, one layer. And to the right of that, each layer will show you each and every individual frame. Now frames are what make up the final video or Flash document once you export it. We will talk about frames in a few videos from now, Third, all the way to the right of the interface, we have the panels. Now, we're going to be working with panels a lot, and this is the properties panel, which pretty much displays information of the object you have selected within a stage. At the moment, I have nothing selected, so it's giving me info about the document. To the right of that, we have the library, which pretty much allows you to store images, text, bitmap, vector, whatever you want to call it, in this container. It's very significant because it saves you a lot of time. I mean, if you want to use an object over and over again, you don't have to go to File and Import. You can just click and drag it from your library onto your stage. And lastly, probably the most important aspect of Flash is your toolbar. This is where you can use tools to edit and manipulate objects in your document. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen, the overview of Flash CS5's interface. Now that we got that down, let's start animating.